Things are moving quickly as far as my journey to the stage after 17 years is concerned. Hey guys, welcome back for another video. I'm super excited to be sharing this journey with you guys and I appreciate you following along. With that said, my workouts have been great. So I'm excited to share my workouts with you in this video. So that's basically what this video is gonna be about. If you guys wanna know exactly what my workouts have been like over the past eight weeks leading up to this stage, then make sure you watch this video. Also, the next video I upload will be tied to this one and part of the same series. That one's all about nutrition. With that said, I'm continuing with my same workout split that I mentioned in my last video. So here's what that looks like. Mondays, I'm working quads, abs, and calves. I've been pre-exhausting my quads with high rep leg extensions. I've been doing four sets of 20 to 30 reps of these. Then I move on to the unilateral leg presses. The focus has been keeping my feet low on the platform and using a narrow stance. This helps to place more direct emphasis on the actual quads. I'm pyramiding the weight up and pyramiding the reps down when I do these. I'm doing five total sets. I start with 25 reps with a lighter weight, and then I am ending with six to eight reps for my max weight. After these, my quads are already full of blood. This is when I move into the Bulgarian split squats. I do three sets of 12 to 15 reps with each leg. Then I like to maximize the quad stretch. So I finish off with three sets of heels elevated, narrow stance, body weight squat. I'm repping these out, man, for 30 to 40 reps. After my quads are done, I move on to calves. I've been doing three sets of seated calf raises and three sets of standing calf raises. Now my Tuesday workouts, I have a full chest workout and I also touch up on triceps and medial delts. So Tuesday workouts are touch up days where I do three sets of one exercise for triceps and the medial delts. So for the chest workout, I start out pre-exhausting my chest. I've been doing two sets of high to low cable presses for 15 reps. Then I move the cables down to mid chest level and I do two sets of cable flies for 15 reps. Then once again, I lower the cables down to the lowest setting and do two sets of upper chest cable flies for 15 reps. By this time, my chest is pumped full of blood. All right, from here, I move on to the plate loaded converging chest press. I use a pyramid method with these as well. I do five total sets. I pyramid down in reps and up in weight, similar to the leg presses I mentioned earlier. After I finish with my five sets here, I do three sets of incline press on the Smith machine. I aim for 12 to 15 reps with each of these. Now, my Wednesday workout is my back and bicep day. Again, I'll pre-exhaust my lats with standing straight arm lat pull downs, where I do four sets of 20 reps, but I only allow for 30 seconds rest between each of these sets. This creates a ton of blood flow into my lat. Then I move on to the lat pull downs. I like to vary my grip with these. So I'll start with neutral grip for two sets and go to overhand narrow grip for two sets. And then I finish these off with two sets of wide grip. My rep ranges are between eight to 15 reps. After I'm done with these, I'll go to dumbbell rows. I've been doing three sets of 10 to 12 reps here. And then I move into the seated cable row for more constant tension. I do two sets of 15 reps with these. I've been finishing off my back workout days with two sets of rack pulls on the Smith machine. With these, I'm aiming for 10 to 12 reps for each set. Now that I'm done with my back training, I move on to the bicep workout. Keep in mind, the biceps are already pre-exhausted at this point because they've gotten a lot of work through the back exercises. The goal now is to drive as much blood into the biceps as possible and to maximize each contraction. I start off with cable curls for three sets. I'll shoot for 12 to 15 reps with each of these with the goal being to hold each peak contraction for two to three seconds. Then I go into an incline dumbbell curl to maximize that stretch position. I also focus on squeezing each rep as hard as possible at the top of the movement. I've been finishing off my biceps with a cross body bicep curl. Again, the goal is to squeeze each rep as hard Hard as possible and aim for 10 to 12 reps with these. All right, after three straight days of training, I take a rest and recovery day from my weight training. I don't lift weights on Thursday, but I'm doing 60 minutes of low intensity recovery cardio, usually on a treadmill or my recumbent bike. Fridays have been hams, glutes, and calves day. I start with five sets of lying leg curls and I pyramid these as well, down in reps and up in weight. I go from the leg curls straight into the RDLs. Some days I use dumbbells for these, but I've also been doing some RDLs on the Smith machine. From here, I like doing reverse hack squat RDLs. I get a great stretch with these, and also I feel a hard contraction at the top of each rep. Then I finish this workout with five sets of 
hip thrust. I've been going higher reps and less weight with these because I get a much better connection to my glutes when I do it this way. I aim for 15 to 20 reps with each set and I'll maximize my mind muscle connection with each rep. Now, Saturday is my last workout of the week since I like to take Sundays off. Saturdays are a full sleeve day, man. I work shoulders, tries, and bicep touch-ups. For shoulders, I've been alternating pressing variations. I'll do dumbbell shoulder presses for one workout, and then the next workout, I'll do shoulder presses on a Smith machine. For both of these, I pyramid up in weight and down in reps. I've been doing five sets of presses for each workout. Then I go into a lateral raise exercise. I've either been doing standing lateral dumbbell raises for 12 to 15 reps, or I do a machine lateral raise for 20 to 25 reps. Both of these exercises give a tremendous shoulder pump and will help bring out the lateral head of the delts. I'll finish off my shoulder day with either face pulls or bent dumbbell lateral raises. I sometimes do a couple sets of each to include both in my shoulder workout. I then do three sets of a bicep exercise where my goal again is to maximize blood flow. High reps, about 15 to 20, and I really focus on that peak contraction squeeze at the top of each rep. Now it's time to finish off the week with some triceps. I like starting with a tricep push down. I sometimes use a rope and sometimes use a straight bar. I like to change up the angle and really maximize my stretch at the top of each rep and also hold the contraction at the bottom of each rep for two seconds to pump blood into those triceps. I'll do three sets of these and then I move on to the dumbbell skull crusher. Here I shoot for three sets of 10 to 15 reps. Once I've done these, I alternate from parallel bar dips one workout to close grip bench press the next workout. I'll do four sets of either one of these. Now that's it, man. That's my actual workout for the past eight weeks. Make sure you save this video so you can go back through it and follow along with my actual workout structure. In the next video, I'll update you on my actual nutrition plan and what I've been doing so far as far as cardio to get me prepared to step back on stage after a 17 year hiatus. Also, quick reminder, if you aren't already subscribed to my channel, then please subscribe, click the bell icon. That way you get notified every time I upload a new video and leave a comment to help with the algorithm so I can continue to grow my channel, even if it's simply to say following. That way I know who all is following along on this journey with me. Thanks again for watching and as always, get busy, get after it, and God bless.